Hello friends, in this video we are going to design our register view. In the previous video we had implemented validation around register functionality wherein we had used data annotation attributes to validate the user data before saving it to the database. In this video we would concentrate on improving the UI and look and feel of register view. Currently the register view looks like this. It has a simple form with two buttons and at the end of the video we would look we would like register view to look like this. So we will be enclosing our register form inside field set legend structure. Then we'll be having a logo at top of the form. We'll be having a link to the login page just below the form. And then we'll be having a background image set for the view, which would display at the bottom of the page. Then we will move our register form towards the center of the page. So these are the changes we are going to make to our register view. So let's go to our friends forever solution. So this is our friends forever solution. And the first thing I'm going to do is have a folder inside content folder, which would hold our images, which we require in our project. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name this folder as images. And I'll add two existing images to this folder. So these are the two images I'm going to use on my view. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'll be going to register.cshtml view. So this is our register view. And currently, if you see, it has a div tag for the validation summary, plus it has a table tag, which is enclosed inside this HTML begin form helper, which creates the form. Now I'm going to have a logo at top of the form. So I'll be having a div here, and then I'll be dragging and dropping this friends forever logo image inside this div, which would create an image tag. And I just have to set its alt attribute saying friends forever logo. Okay, so this would add a logo at top of the form. And the next thing is basically enclosing this form inside field set legend. Okay, so let's do that. So I'll have a field set tag and then I'll enclose it, this form inside this field set tag. And then I'll be having a legend tag as well, which forms the title of this field set. And I'm going to name it as register form. Okay. Now our form is enclosed inside this field set legend structure. If I go to the UI, so you could see the form is enclosed inside a structure which looks like a border and then we have a title for this field set that is register form. Now you have noticed like this field set is basically stretching towards the end of the page. We don't want that. We want our field set to be just enclosing a form. So I'll be setting its width attribute. So I will specify style and set its width to just 300 pixels. And then our field set would be small in size, just enclosing our form. Now the next thing is having a link to the logon page just at the bottom of the form, just below the form. So I'll have another div here and I'll be using action link HTML helper to create the link and the text would be redirect to logon and the action name where I want to redirect the user to one click of that link would be logon. Okay. So if I go to the UI, you would see a link at the bottom of the form. So now I want the structure to be at the center. So you would see I have a main div and then I have this four structures. So I want all these four structures to be center of the page. So what I will do, I will create another div around all these structures and I'll be moving this newly created div so that all the structures inside that div will also move to the center and then I will set its style attribute and set margin left to 500 pixels by this way our structure would be towards the center and now I will set some extra margin to my link div. So this is the div which is enclosing the link. I will set some extra margin of 100 pixels, margin left of 100 pixels, so that the link looks like at the center of the form. 
so this is all about the form structure and making it look at the center of the page now the next thing is basically setting the background of the view so in order to set the background of the view I'll be replacing this div with the body tag okay plus I have a class that I'll be specifying or setting it inside .css. So what this class does is the class name is body register. It is basically setting the background image attribute of the page to the image which we have included. Then it basically set its background size, background position, y x and it set the background to be no repeat. So only once it will be displayed on the page. Then I'm also setting the font family of our page. Now I'm going to specify this class. I'm going to set this class on my body tag. Okay. And before doing this, before setting the site.css, pasting this class in site.css, just make sure your layout.css TML is referring to site.css and your register page is referring to this layout so that your CSS changes would be reflected on the UI when you make any changes in the site.css. Now, if I go to my view, if I refresh my page, you could see the background image at the bottom and plus you also see that our form or the entire page looks like what we have set our target at the start of this video. So this is how you can basically design your register view and you can make additional changes to make it look more better. So that would depend on you uh, how much you want, but we have achieved our target for this video. Now there's one more thing I want to implement in this video, which we had missed in our previous video. And uh, you would have remember like we had a view model for register view model. And uh, there we had created a property that is message, which we decided like this property would be a utility property, but we haven't utilized this in our previous video. But I want to show you how we can utilize it. So I'll go to my security controller register action method where the form is posted. And in the case where our model state is valid and we are ready to save the data to the database there, we are going to set model dot message to user registered successfully. And this message we want to show it on the UI. And in order to show this message on the UI, we have to set the model message property. Plus we have to send this model back to the view. Okay. Now we'll go to the view and create a structure to show this message. And for now I will comment this line so that we don't save any uh, testing data to the database, but this functionality would work and we will see how it works and we'll go to the register.cshtml. And this is our current structure. So I'll have another div just above the div of validation summary. Okay. So instead of having a div, let's check that idea. I'll be having a condition which would say if my model is not null. So I'll say model not equal to null and there is some value in the model dot message property. So for that I will use string dot is null or white space and I will specify model dot message property. So what this condition says is if model is not null and there is value set for message property, then I'm going to have a paragraph. Okay. And we'll show that message. Otherwise this message or this paragraph won't be created on the page. And for now, I'll just add a style attribute saying font uh, weight to be bold. That's it. Okay. Now I just have to build my application and I'll go to my register view. Let me refresh the page once and I'm going to add a user to 
the email would be user2 at the rate email.com password would be user2 something something user2 and then I will click on this register button okay so this shows that user registered successfully so this message is being shown on the UI now if I refresh the page then in that case that message property is not set and it is null so that is why that message disappeared as soon as I refresh the page so this was the missing part from the previous video uh, which I have implemented and shown to you so this is all about redesigning the register view designing the register view and improving its look and feel I hope you like this video thank you friends